Hello, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you for March 2024. If you are not aware, I have started up, obviously, the monthlies, but also dailies. Uh, so make sure you're checking all of that out. Please keep in mind, I have heard plenty of people say, oh, I've missed you, blah, 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 you know, all that kind of stuff. I haven't gone anywhere. I have never missed a weekly in over 10 years. They're there. So make sure you're subscribed. Ooh, nice. Start off with the world. If you like this content and you want more of it. Okay, you got some major shakeups happening. Hold the phone. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Um, okay. King of Gabriel. Oh my gosh, watch for your sun, moon, and rising. This this King of Gabriel is no joke, okay? He's been showing his big face everywhere. Let's start with where. Um, I was saying there's going to be shakeups. Almost dropped the card. Huh? Something is turning around. You come into this month full of hope, feeling like everything's full of promise. You're leaning on your higher wisdom. You're tuning in. You're tapped in. Archangel Michael, you have clarity of spirit, right? You're, you're opening all the pathways so this beautiful energy can come traveling through you and working through you. Divine energy working through you. So this says a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. That's the world. Okay, this is Archangel Michael. So this is where the energy is trying to get you to finally, you know, allow yourself to be free, to um, have some bit of payoff. I'm hearing to feel at one, to just feel this peace come over you, to feel like all these things that demand your attention, they are handled. Kids are safe. Money is safe. Roof over your head. Your health is good. You know, love partnership is strong. You know, all these things... Finally getting a moment of peace, not feeling like you have to struggle or reach for anything. Now, weirdly, maybe you would see this as weirdly, that is going to be a hard thing for you to do, right? <laughs> to just let go and say, okay, everyone's all right. I can settle down. So we have changed your life. The number is 16. The way we handle this with angel numbers is we had the six plus the one. It's numerology as well. Uh, seven. We get a seven and that's archangelic energy. So you're really being guided towards something. I want to say something bigger, something bigger than what you ever imagined. Something, when I say bigger, it's so expansive for you. It's leading you down a path that you have been wanting. It doesn't feel brand new. I mean, it could be new. If you want a personal reading to see if that pertains to you or not, angelsouls444.com. Those are the standard readings. Every once in a while, I can do a live one-on-one -on -one reading over Zoom. Those slots are very limited. And I'm also teaching courses as well. Connect with your angels, learning angel mediumship, and uh, learning how to read angel cards. But the readings, the live sessions, you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see if there are any spots open. Okay, to see if that pertains to you. But this Archangel Samuel here on this card is talking about, okay, sleepyhead, it's time, <laughs> it's time to wake up and to get moving on this. It's time for you to find yourself. It's time for you to be tapped into divine love, to be a conduit for that divine inspiration. Reach your potential, but change your life means you got to step outside your comfort zone. Okay. It's a, it, blah, blah, blah. I got this. Okay. It says a <laughs> sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination. That's the big one for you. If you've been procrastinating, you've been afraid to look things up or you just, it just feels like a wall that you keep running into every time you're trying to move through a situation that's going to dissipate now. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. Here are some funny examples of this. So if you're like, like me, uh, I moved back in October into this house. Got things mostly unpacked, mostly, you know, put away. But there are, there's about a fourth of my belongings that I have yet to unpack. Why? There's nowhere to put them, okay? <laughs> Normally, I would just shove everything into a closet and call it a day. 
Can't do that here. There ain't no closets, okay? So they're just sitting around. So I have been getting up in this house and not feeling settled in it because I like things clean and organized. It's not usually like that, but it feels good when it is, right? So I'm getting up and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's just no solution to this whatsoever. I just can't possibly. But I could if I say bought some shelving or something. You know what I'm saying? This the, the reason why I'm giving that example is that we can let things overwhelm us so much and we can procrastinate on thinking about a solution. And then when the solution comes, it's kind of silly and easy to do. And why didn't I just do that sooner? You could be having one of those months, okay? Then here's our boy, King of Gabriel. I don't know why he's creeping around March for everybody, okay? Even if you watch one of your other signs and he don't come up, he's come up enough that he's probably gonna, he's gonna show up in March for you. King of Gabriel, generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. For you guys, this King of Gabriel feels like someone who's guiding. There could be some shakeups that are really affecting you personally. And this is the voice of reason for you. Okay. But he's fiery, right? He's fiery. So he's, he's the voice of um, reason and inspiration, but by kind of like poking you a little bit, get, getting the fire lit under you to get you going again. So the King of Gabriel for you guys, he's not going to let you sit around making uh, yourself feel worse. He's not going to let you feel sorry for yourself. He's not going to let you sit around making excuses. He's not going to watch you wither away he's gonna come in and say come on don't forget who you are so somehow that's gonna that's gonna show up in some way and then we have this extraordinary healing occurring then we have the five of Raphael so this this with change your life this is mourning the past this is mourning what you thought would be and it didn't turn out that way and yet in that process of mourning and kind of having your head down you're missing how good this stuff is, okay? So we have the seven, we have 17 on here. We do seven and one, that is eight. So you're having a breakthrough. This is an abundant break, breakthrough. This is expansiveness. This is seeing things with such clarity and such love on top of it. So the star, Archangel Jophiel, seeing the beauty in everything, right? And being in that wisdom, a dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. Here's where I think you guys get yourselves into a little bit of trouble this month because we have this five of Raphael. Let me just read this. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. You have been drinking from a cup of poison and the universe is going, why you keep doing that? And finally they send a strong wind and knock those stupid things over so you can't keep drinking out of them. And you're sitting there going, oh, but, but I needed that. Okay, well, now you just walk away. What's behind you? Two more cups. that are actually filled with something that would be good for you. Okay. So you have been hanging on, looping around, bad habits, maybe ruminating over something, not giving yourself a chance, not giving yourself a chance looping around something that doesn't work over and over and over and over and over again. And this is sort of like the universe kind of shutting that down and saying, nope, you can't go back there. Now where are you going to go? And you'll stand there confused <laughs> for a good long while going, I don't know. I don't know. But the only way to make other paths open up so that you're aware of them is to heal. And it's almost like the more you heal, the more these paths can light up and become more and more apparent and trusting the universe to be guiding you down those paths as it becomes apparent because we've got the world and we've got the star. There is another way. There is another approach. There is something maybe even for some of you that you're supposed to be doing, right? On your path, again, we would know that through a personal reading, angelsouls444.com, um, some of you are moving into being the King of Gabriel, going after your passions, 
but in this steady way. You know what I mean? It's not just, um, it's not the page of Gabriel. Just going out and willy-nilly, just doing whatever, just throwing stuff out there. This is taking calculated risks. This is, you know, strategizing. Kings strategize. They don't just go off to war. <laughs> they make sure they know what they're up against. They make sure they put it all together before they go. I think part of this, that again, the change your life in the five of Raphael, it's mourning the past. This future starts opening up for you. These possibilities start opening for you. And because, I'm sorry to say it, guys, but because it's not how you always dreamed it would look like, you might be quick to overlook it. We see this all the time with love partnerships. If it's not the person you ever pictured yourself with, a lot of people will shut down, even though the most magnificent person is right in front of you. They are such a gift from the universe. But you don't see it, right? You don't see them in that way. And so you might be dismissive. Or the star is giving this uh, feeling of, I don't want to admit that I made a mistake. I don't want to admit that I made a mistake getting into this marriage. Or I don't want to uh, admit that I made a mistake that I took a job I can't handle. Or... Um, that I haven't been very careful with my nutrition and my exercise and, you know, negative thinking and all of that. Like I haven't really been doing my spiritual work. I haven't been focusing on my spiritual wellness. And that's, that's going to keep you trapped. If you refuse to work into that, uh, move into, I should say, move into that healing energy, something beautiful is waiting for you. And it's a new approach. It's new possibilities. It's a new way of seeing your life. And are you really going to hold yourself up because it doesn't quite look the way you had imagined? I mean, yeah, we're here to emulate creator and co-create our own little microcosm using tools of free will. But you're a co-creator. The universe is here doing this with you and saying, okay, you picked up on kind of what this was supposed to be. But here's the actual playing out of this moment. So don't go into this space of sort of like disregarding it or, you know, being in this space of that's not for me. I know me. I have seen, oh my gosh, I've been doing readings for people professionally over 10 years. I cannot tell you how often someone just got a beautiful answer from angels and they go, that's not it. That's not me. I started getting really good at saying, I'll see you in six months because that's the pattern I started playing out when people wouldn't listen to an angelic message. <laughs> they always learned usually within six months that they should have listened and they're coming back and going, okay, either they're stuck in the exact same spot or they realize, okay, yeah, I should have listened. Now what do I do? Right. And we work from there. Don't be that person. Don't hold up your life. There are going to be lots of things that you're starting to understand on a deeper level here in March and you need to embrace it. It's leading you somewhere. Okay. Don't discredit it. So we are going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.